Y'all, yeah, so can we sleep? She's struggling with the baby. You know, to get up at night, so she's tired. So I'm trying to do quite a hair today. You can see how it comes out. Hey y'all, so I just got done washing my hair, shampooing my hair, just doing my skincare routine. It's pretty late, super late. I got my day started. I got my day started pretty late because I was up a lot last night and I mean, it's typical, but I just felt like I feel like, I don't know, like I need to be very gentle with myself because I just had a baby. And even though I want so badly to get my life in order, I gotta be realistic. So anyway, this is, I'm, I'm doing what I was supposed to do yesterday. I'm trying to hurry up because the baby gonna wake up in a minute and I gotta pick crews up. It's 12:27. I gotta pick crews up in two hours. <laughs> so in two hours, I'm I, I'm trying to do get my hair do my hair because I really want my hair done. Like I just this is a priority. Okay, looking good is a priority to me. So this get put above a lot of other things. Yeah. So what's next? Anyway. Um, yesterday was day one of the, of our little 75 hard challenge and we got everything done. I mean, like we, we, we stuck to our 75 hard goals, even though I did not get my to-do list done in my mom Bible. It's like, I have 75 hard goals and I got mom Bible goals, <laughs> like life goals, like stuff that need to get done and that I want to have in order. But it's okay when it's not in order. I gotta keep telling myself that. Anyway, but last night, Isaiah got sick. Like he started to feel really sick. His body detoxing was just really dramatic with him. So he felt sick. We were like, I, I felt so bad for him, and I kept telling him, like, let me um let me sit down, let me do the dishes, let me do, you know, let me you just sit down and take care of yourself. But he didn't want to. Uh-oh, baby waking up. Uh, but I felt so bad for him. Like, dang. I don't like, I, I, I don't like when he doesn't feel good. It's like I'm used to being the sick one. The one that something is always wrong with me. But anyway, um, I'm about to get my hair done. I'm going to be so cute. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to show y'all when I come back. I, well, I probably should. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to blow dry my hair and I'm going to show y'all. And be flat ironing my hair. Cause this is like so exciting to me. I don't know why. But when I give me a, when I do my fresh silk press, can't nobody tell me nothing. Okay. And then I'm about to have some fresh lashes on. Oh yeah. The only thing that's not gonna probably get done, because I just got so much stuff, got too many appointments, got too much stuff to do, is my hair and my nails. I mean my nail my hair. Only thing that I, I can't do right now is get my nails done. So I'm probably gonna paint them. Probably gonna paint my nails. I'm gonna paint my nails, paint my toes, 
get all of that in order. And I'm gonna be cute, okay? Like one of my one of my goals that I said I was gonna commit to is just always looking my best after I had a baby. Because I don't ever want to go back to that frumpy life. Like, I don't like it, okay? I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it feels when I'm out, you know? Like, I like to be out and just feel good about myself. I don't want to be looking at everybody else and like, oh, I wish, oh, she looks so cute. Oh, I like, you know, I want to I want to be feeling like the cute one. The, you know what I mean? And one thing that I noticed that after I had Cruz, People would say, so I remember I, we had went to this church for the first time and we were meeting the pastor, the pastors of the church. And the man said, you look like such a good mom. And he would always say that. And I didn't really know what that meant. But then I started realizing other people were saying it to me, right? You see, you just seem like such a good mom. And then one of my neighbors was like, yeah, you know, how old are you? You like in your late thirties? I wasn't even 30 yet. And I was like, oh, uh-uh. But it was because, of, and she, so I asked her, why did you think that? And she said, well, I mean, just because the way you dress and you just seem, you know, and she was like, she basically motivated me. What's her name? Uh, Why can't I think of her name? Hold on. Riri, that's her name. My neighbor, Riri. Shout out to Riri. Because she helped me. She made me realize that I was walking around here looking a mess. And so I said, never again will I like will I be will I be looking like that. Like I'm sorry. Like I want people to look at me and say, oh my God, you got five kids? I don't want people to look at me like, oh yeah, I can tell you got five kids. Yeah, girl, you look tired. Oh yeah, you look like they keeping you busy. You look like you worn out. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'm gonna be walking out this house looking like a supermodel as as, as much as I can. Now, of course, I'm going to have my lazy days because, I, you know, those those happen and it's okay. I'm good with them. But for the most part, when you see me out, I want to be just fine. Okay? Okay. Y'all, it is after five. My hair is not finished. And... Okay, let me fix this. Gosh, I'm on the struggle bus, okay? My hair didn't get finished, and... Forget this 75 hard stuff. What? Bro, this is 75 mom. Let's replace hard with mom. Mom life. And it's a hundred. I mean, it's not a hundred. Mom life. Ain't no 75. Nothing. This is forever. I'm struggling. And I can't believe I'm saying that. And you know what? I was just talking to a friend and I was like, you know what? Let me get my camera out so I can vlog this. Because what? I really swore that I was about to be cute. Five kids wear. And. Oh gosh. Hold on. Let me put you down real quick because I need to go wash this pacifier off. Okay. What in the world? I feel for any mama who has a toddler and an infant. I didn't realize that this would be this difficult. I, 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 all of my kids are two years apart. The older older kids, okay? They are all, oh my gosh. I got sports bra around my neck. Um, I need to go empty out these bottles. All of my other kids were two years apart. I don't remember it being as hard. Actually, like changing switching now i got yeah I'm, i want to show y'all but okay hold on <laughs> sorry okay if you'll realize that i'll start talking and then i'll get distracted and then go straight to another subject 
But hold on, let me show. Let me put this. Let me let me switch bras real quick, and I'm about to show y'all what I just did. What I have done. This is so ghetto. I use one of my old nursing bras. Like this is like a really old. I've had this for years, years from when my big kids were babies. No, you can drink that right there. I cut holes in it to make a pumping bra. So that is my ghetto makeshift pump bra. And I need to go buy one because now it's starting, the holes have stretched out and it's not really holding the, the breast pump in place. And so, or the, what do you call it? The flanges or whatever you call it. It's not holding them in place properly anymore. So I need to just go ahead and go give me a pump bra. I'm just being cheap. Anyway, but what I was saying is that I have been so set on um, getting back to normal. Saying, oh yeah, I'm just, I want, I want to go, I want to get back to normal. That's what I've been saying. And I can't go back to normal. Because normal is four kids. I don't have four kids no more. Now I got five kids. And now I have to figure out how to navigate this new life. Okay, so yeah, it's now I'm trying to navigate this new life of mine. And I have, uh, I have went, I have went towards this all wrong. I put too much pressure on myself. And I realized I have to ease, you don't have, well, yeah, you can, yeah. Yes. I have to ease my way into this life, this new life of mine. And not be trying to just go and just, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, but let me be honest. Let me be honest. So I am a part, I, I'm, I'm in a mops group at church, right? And with all of these mamas in there, like they all be, ha they be having babies. And three weeks later, they come back to the mops meeting, the mops meetup or whatever you call it. They come back. And they be just looking good. And I'm like, Did you just had a baby? They come back. They I, I ain't seen nobody come back with a with a big stomach. Everybody just be looking just just flawless, okay? Yeah. Now, so my goal was on week three, because it's so the meet meetups are be careful, go sit down. Okay. The meetups are uh every other week, right? So I missed. The meet the last I missed the last meeting I missed the missed our last mops meeting right so that's what everybody do they like I miss one and then I go to the next one so by the, by the time I'm like three weeks postpartum they they come back and they just like glowing and I'm like what in the world so I told Isaiah okay watch so mop the mop mops is tomorrow tomorrow is Wednesday. And I don't look the way I want to look. Want to look, and I don't know. I'm like, what did I do to myself? Like I'm over here trying to be like everybody else. <laughs> and these all these women, they ain't got five kids either. But I mean, I can't. I don't know. I put too much pressure on myself. But I am definitely on the struggle bus today. And I feel like I need help. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Yeah, y'all. I can't be superwoman. And I'm starting to realize that. Like I'm, I keep trying to put on this cape. And why do I keep doing it? I don't know why. Like, I just keep doing the same thing. I do this all the time and be looking like I get overwhelmed. And like, what did you expect to happen? Who told you to do all of that? Did nobody tell you to do all of that? Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you. Camry, nobody told you to do all of this. Uh, Why? Like, anyway, I have been using my mom Bible and I felt like yesterday helped me so, so much. But it can actually do the opposite of what you want it to do is if you put too much pressure on yourself. Like if you put too much pressure to accomplish all the goals that you wrote on that paper for the day, right? Like the the thing is, is that what I want to do is when I don't finish something, I have 
I have, so I include these sticky notes, these transparent sticky notes, and that you can write on top of. So I can move, I can write those my to do list from yesterday on that sticky note, and then I can stick it on the next day. And it's okay when you do that, right? Like it's okay. Um, cause you gotta know the season that you in. And anyway, I'm just talking to myself. Like I gotta know what season that I'm in and I'm not in the season to just be able to do a whole bunch in one day. I gotta mainly stick to one or two goals, get those accomplished and then, mo and then move on. Like chill, relax. And then the next day, accomplish two more things and then chill and relax. Like, and then eventually when things start to get better, when he starts to get older, then when he starts to sleep throughout the night, then I can be able to accomplish more because I'll be having more sleep. I will, you know, like I just, and I, and it's funny because I was just telling this to another friend and I'm like, I should have been telling myself this. I should have been taking my own advice and I wasn't. But I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna just be a big girl and put my big girl panties on and realize that and accept the fact that my life is not as easy as what I thought it was. I'll be living in fantasy land and I need to stop I'll be get off my soapbox and go do what needs to be done because this is my situation and there's gonna be nothing that nothing beneficial comes from complaining about it but I did want to just let y'all give y'all a little insider give y'all a little real life moment that this ain't as easy as what I thought it was so okay I will talk to y'all later Forget that hard 75, 75 hard stuff. So forget it. Not forget it. I'm gonna still do it. I'm gonna still stick to eating right and exercising and praying, praying in the spirit and some of the stuff I do anyway. But I'm gonna stick to it. I'm support my husband as he goes through it, be his accountability partner, push him and we push each other. But I, I'm not I can't sit over here and just act like this is easy. That even just being having a new baby is easy all of this is hard it's hard period